hi guys welcome to my channel in today's video i will share with you how to combine and use two powerful ingredients for massive hair growth if that is what you are looking for please watch to the end of the video i have here some dried rosemary leaves which is one of our main ingredients for the recipe of today Rosemary reduces shedding and improves circulation to the scalp, thereby promoting healthy hair growth. I will go ahead and measure one tablespoon of the rosemary and transfer into a clean glass container. Our second ingredient is cloves. Cloves stimulate hair growth. It prevents oxidative stress. It also treats dandruff. It may also prevent premature grain of the hair. I'll go ahead and measure one tablespoon of the clove and transfer into the glass container. I'm also adding half tablespoon of dried peppermint leaves. It's optional. I'll then add in some warm water into my ingredients and stir and stir them together so that the, the warm water will enable the ingredients to release their properties into the water. After this step, you let sit your mixture for at least 8 hours to enable the herbs to release your properties into the water. This is our mixture after 8 hours. You can see how dark it has become. So the herbs have released their properties into the water. We'll go ahead and strain. But before straining, it's good to stir the mixture so, uh, so that the, the helps to release more of the benefits. We need a, a spray bottle. I will transfer the mixture into a, uh, a spray bottle in order to ease the application process. So it's, uh, I will use a, 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 a sieve. This sieve has very tiny holes. You can always use a cheese cloth or, or what, what you have. But make sure to strain. Do not skip this uh, part. Especially if you are using a spray bottle, so that uh, the, 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 the water will not uh, clog your spray bottle. I will not add in anything into the water, I will just use it at the, as it is. It's very easy to make, guys. So let me show you how I use the cloves and rosemary spray for best results. I have here the spray. I also have my aloe vera leave-in conditioner. I also uh, use uh, my DIY herbal oil. I also need rosemary pomade i will drop in the the, the links of all the products i will use in the description box i will show you how to moisturize your hair without ever ma manipulating your hair in order to retain length i will start by spraying the clothes and rosemary water on my hair in order to damp my hair before loosening my hair please uh, never you uh, loosen your hair or manipulate your hair when it is dry it was, it was good to damp your hair before you manipulate it in order to reduce breakage. When I feel that my hair is damp, I'll go ahead and loosen it. After loosening my hair, I'll still go ahead and spray more of the clove and rosemary water on my scalp. When I spray it, I'd go ahead and massage my scalp and just spread it on my scalp and massage my scalp. Please take note of what I'm doing. I do not scatter my hair. I do not scatter the, the parts of my hair. I, I spray the, 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 the clothes and rosemary water while maintaining the, the parts of my hair. The way I pattern my hair, I'm, I'm still maintaining it. I do not scatter my hair. It's very important the way we manipulate our hair. My target here is my, my scalp. I try to target my scalp and maintain. I spray on the lines of which I patterned my hair on my previous hairstyle. So please take note of, of what I'm doing. My name is Adeline. I share with you natural ingredients which have helped me to grow my hair. If you are watching the video up to this moment and you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel and join the family. Let's journey together and grow our hair. Thank you. After spraying my scalp, I go ahead and massage my scalp while maintaining the parts of my previous hairstyle. Please do not forget to, to spray your, the edges of your hair. Take note of what, what I'm doing. I'm maintaining my pre the parts of my previous hairstyle. I do not scatter my hair. It's very important. 
as it reduces breakage i'm trying to maintain the parts the same parts of my previous hairstyle because i will still use the same parts to plait a new style after uh, moisturizing and sealing in the moisture of my hair after giving my scalp a good massage i'll go ahead and spray the length of my hair i'll start uh, by spraying the edges of my hair when i spray i massage yeah, i massage the the spray the water the, the cloth on rosemary water so that my hair can have the full absorption of it if need be i'll just give uh, my hair a light finger detangling after this step i'll go ahead and apply my al the aloe vera leave-in conditioner guys whenever you moisturize your hair with infused herbs or even is plain water or make sure always make sure to follow by uh, applying a leave-in conditioner on your hair and also for uh, seal in your moisture with uh, a hair butter a hair cream or a hair pomade as you see me doing in this video is very important as it keeps your hair moisturized for a longer period of time and also keeps your hair healthy and reduces breakage so after applying the aloe vera leave-in conditioner on my hair you see that i massage it on my hair i will then follow by applying my the rosemary pomade on my hair i apply the pomade in order to seal in the moisture which i brought into my hair the moisture which i i use the my hair bath spray the spray which i spray on my hair and then follow up by using aloe vera leave-in conditioner then i'll then seal in the moisture with this pomade is very important if you just moisturize your hair and leave your hair like that your hair is going to easily dry up and this will lead to breakage and that is not what we want so after sealing in my moisture i'll go ahead and plate my so african treading so that is why you see i uh, that is why i i try to maintain the part of my previous hair style I will take another section of my hair and do the same thing guys please take note of what i'm doing i'm doing all this in order to limit breakage because if we, do, we manipulate our hair anyhow and our hair uh, breaks we're not going to experience hair length or may think our hair does not grow whereas it grows so we need to um, um, uh, uh, properly manipulate our hair in order to exp uh, experience uh, uh, growth and, and you must not uh, allow your hair to be too dry before you moisturize always listen to your hair and moisturize it you can uh, use this spray two to three times a week in order to moisturize your hair I, the, I i can go for up to one week before i moisturize my hair this is because i of the treatments i bring up onto my hair when i started my hair journey i used to moisturize two to three times in a week but now i can just moisturize after my hair after one week and it really works fine and guys no worries if you do not have both of the ingredients if you have all the cloth go ahead and use it if you have only rosemary go ahead and use it i use both of them because I, I've, I've used them separately and when I combine them, I see that they work. They also work together. So that's why I combine them and use them. But after plating my hair, I'll go ahead and oil my scalp. I use my uh, DIY herbal oil. Just put a small quantity. A little quantity goes a long way. You must not saturate your scalp with the oil. You see that I just oil the lines of my hair. Just uh, pass, pass the oil on the, the lines of the hair and massage guys i love to do african trading because it keeps my hair stretched and it reduces breakage i've learned to wear my hair in african style and uh, african trading please like and share the video with family and friends share your thoughts with me in the comment sections always feel free to ask your questions and we're glad to answer you after massaging your scalp you can go ahead and put on a plastic bag in order to incorporate heat for 5 to 10 minutes, especially if you have low porosity. I thank you for watching the video and see you in my next one. Bye bye.